Number 27. This problem compares the energy output and heat transfer to the environment by two different types of nuclear power stations. One with a normal efficiency of 34% and another with an improved efficiency of 40%. Suppose both have the same heat transfer into the engine in one day, 2.5 times 10 to the 14th joules. Letter A. How much more electrical energy is produced by the more efficient power station? All right. So we're talking about efficiency, right, and then basically heat transfer into the engine. So we know we're dealing with this formula where it says that the efficiency will be equal to the uh, work output, the useful work output of the uh, engine divided by essentially the heat transfer into the engine. All right. Um, so now from here, I can put a little delta sign in front if I like. I mean, there's many ways to do this problem uh, as far as the math. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say that the change in efficiency, all right, is then equal to, well, one of the two items on the uh, right-hand side also changed, and it's going to be equal to the change in work divided by the heat transferred into the engine. This has remained constant, as they told us in the problem. So basically what I want to do is solve this for the change in useful work. That's basically what they're asking for, right? The useful work is more electrical energy, right? That electrical energy is used to do useful work. So then just calculate that for delta uh, W, right? So that's then delta E times then Q sub H. And now all we have to do is really just plug in, right? So the change in work or the amount of the more electrical energy that's produced is now going to be the change in efficiency or basically the difference between 40% and 34%, right? Now, remember, uh, that's basically 6%, but you got to plug that in as a decimal, right, when you do your calculation. And then just plug in the heat transferred into the engine of 2.5 times 10 to the 14th. And then change in work will simply be equal to this multiplication, so 0.06 multiply by 2.5 times 10 to the 14th. And here we get a value of about 1.5 times 10 to the 13 joules. That's basically 15 trillion joules. All right, so just a little small change in efficiency, we get now 15 trillion more joules of output. So every little bit of efficiency helps in these power plants, as you can see. Letter B, how much less heat transfer occurs to the environment by the more efficient power station? So just consider this, guys. They, they're, the same amount of heat is being added to both, right? It just happens that one is a little more efficient, and therefore, right, we just calculated that this is the additional amount of energy now that's going to useful work instead of what? Well, instead of being lost to the environment, right? That's the whole point of efficiency. Efficiency basically tells you the amount of useful work, right, to the amount of then total heat added to the engine, well, there's always going to be a difference unless it's 100% efficient, which is basically impossible. Um, there's always going to be a difference between those two, and the difference is then the heat loss to the environment. All right. So in this case, if this is the additional amount of work being done, well, that then is not being lost to the environment. So this would be the same answer for letter B. All right. So hopefully that makes sense. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Take care.